awesome intro music, eh? Who still love that intro music? Yeah, that was pretty sweet. Okay, today we're reviewing Grey Goose. 40% alcohol from France. It's not a potato vodka. This is actually a wheat vodka. Distilled with wheat. What do you think of Grey Goose? You've had it before, right? Yep. I find it good. A little bit strong, like, in the taste-wise, but uh, a little bit overpriced, maybe, if you're, the, if you're concerned about the price ratio. But, you know, you can find your stores and try to find your cheaper price, but for a vodka, I think it's one of the top, top five vodkas out there. Yeah. Um, uh, I've done a lot of shots of this. It's... People say it's really smooth. I don't find it that smooth. But we've let it sit here for about 15 minutes. We're going to see if that makes a difference. Let it breathe a little bit. The smell. This is actually one of the few vodkas that doesn't have a smell. People always say vodkas don't smell. and They almost always do like rubbing alcohol. But this one actually doesn't really smell like anything. It's got a hint. Bit, very very faint. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to really smell it off somebody. You really have to sit there and let it come up and Yeah, it's very, very faint. No, well, let's just see. Taste it. Mm. Okay, in the beginning it's really smooth. Wow. It's afterwards that you get that really rubbing alcohol taste though, towards the end. It really builds up. Yep. Yeah. Agreed. First little sip, it's like water, and then all of a sudden, got power. There it is. And then, yeah, now it's like picking up. For sh shooting wise, I guess it's a good vodka. It goes down smooth right away, but. It has that really rubbing alcohol taste towards the end. So now I'm getting that really alcohol, rubbing alcohol taste. It's okay. Uh, they also have flavored ones of these too, right? Yep. Uh, orange. Um. Apple, I think. Yeah, apple, I believe. Orange, apple, and it's a great peach or something. Or I can't remember what the other one is, but yeah, they make these. Uh, I think the flavored ones would actually be better. They'd probably have more sugar in it, but I have the orange, and the orange was really good. Yeah. Does it really have the alcohol taste too? Yeah, it still has alcohol taste on the way Where's down. Yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, it's very. Once you mix it, it's definitely. I, I guess you would say the flavors are more mixing and maybe the more for a shooter for just the plain. Okay, between these vodkas, which one would you give? Just Polar Ice, Smirnoff, Raspberry, and Grey Goose. Which one would you give first place to? First place? For me, I'm a vodka fan. To be honest. Yeah, this guy's a vodka guy. I'm more of whiskey and rum, so. Huge on vodka. I would have to definitely. Smirnoff would be my first. That's really surprising to me because normally I'd pick more of a Polish vodka. This is more, I think, American vodka. This is France, and I'm not sure what this one is. I haven't drank Polar Ice in a long time, actually. Yeah, maybe we'll re review this in the next one. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Overall. Out of ten review for this, what would you give it? Uh, for the price, for the taste, the flavor. Uh, overall, it's definitely a worthy vodka. This is a really hard one to give a rating to. Mm, that's one's really hard. For vodkas out there, every vodka you tasted. For me, I think it's about a seven for vodka. Maybe, maybe even lower, like six point five, six. For go. vodka, just because you, if you are on a budget, this is not going to be on your 
through your buy to list. Yeah, for sure. and if you're not on a budget and you want to spend your money on something really good, this is really not the smooth vodka that you would want. You'd want like a Polish or even Russian uh, potato vodka. I would give this roughly between a 7.5 and an 8, but I would have to go for the 7.5 just because of the price. Yeah. Me, I think it's about 6.5 to 7. It's smooth going down at first, but uh, three to five seconds into it, that's when you start getting rubbing alcohol paste. And it's a wheat, wheat grain, or was it wheat distilled? I prefer potato distilled. It's still a good vodka. If you want to try it, definitely I'd go for the flavored ones though. Uh, if you're if gonna you're, go for this, go for one of the flavored ones, the orange or whatever. You know, either way, even if you haven't never tried Grey Goose, it's definitely a worthy. Just worthy. To try and buy a Mickey size of them. Yeah. Just try it out. <laughs> uh, next week, click on this bottle right here. We're gonna be reviewing this next week for the last week's video. Click up here. Pretty much on Aaron's head. <laughs> And we'll see you guys next time. Okay, today we're going to be reviewing Canadian vodka. Polar Ice. We let this sit for about 20 minutes. Today we're reviewing Glen Fettick. The single malt scotch whiskey. This particular one is aged 18 years.